This one's for Jordan and Mahidi. I, I am absolutely very excited about London 2012. It is going to be amazing. Just as excited I am, as I am, I am just the same amount of nervousness at the same time. It's um, you know, it's the Olympic Games. It's a home Olympics. It's something that's not going to happen again. Um, certainly not in my lifetime anyway. So it is amazing that the Olympics are going to be in London, and I really can't wait. Um, for that whole experience to happen. So far, my biggest achievement uh, has to be my Olympic silver medal. It just means the absolute world to me. It is the biggest competition there is in, in, you know, for, for an athlete in the world, and to win a medal there is, um, is an absolute dream come true. Uh, so this one's for Richard and Martin. When I'm racing, um, a 10K, it sounds like it's a really long way, and I, I race for about two hours, which can be very long, but during the race, there's so many different things to think about. There's, you know, you've got all the different boys that you've got to think about, and you've got people touching your feet, and when you've got a feed, and am I in the right position, and you've got to look up all the time. So there are times where it can be quite boring, and I think about, I don't know, what I'm gonna buy when I get home, or you know, what we're gonna have for tea that night. And it's the same in a training session. I don't just get in and swim, and swim up and down for two hours. We don't, unfortunately, get to listen to music. But I do listen to music outside uh, outside the swimming pool and the gym. We do a lot of gym as well, so it kind of gives us a bit more momentum and we do a lot of traveling. So I listen to a band called Above and Beyond. They're sort of progressive trance, which makes it sound quite hardcore, but they're not at all. They're, uh, they're amazing, I absolutely love them. Uh, this question's for Graham. Uh, sponsorship is a huge part of, um, certainly of my swimming career. Uh, we have the, the sponsorship that we get or the grant that we get from UK Sport, which without that just would not be possible um, to do the, the sports that we do or to be as good as we are. Um, if you're lucky enough, um, which I have been very, very lucky, especially with Speedo, uh, to, you know, to sponsor me as an athlete, which is fantastic and it's great to come away and do photo shoots and things like this. It's totally different to swimming. Obviously, I've not got my head in the water just swimming up and down and, and people doing my makeup and doing my hair. So that's always a, a really fun side of it. Sometimes um, it can feel like it's a lot, but um, it really does make a difference to, to someone like me. So I don't have to go out and work at the moment. I can just concentrate on swimming and doing the thing that I absolutely love doing, which for me makes me feel like the luckiest person in life. This is for Kaz and Chev. My life motto is to make sure you enjoy absolutely every moment of what you're doing. If you're not enjoying it, there's no point in doing it. Um, it's just, it, for me, it's so important to make sure that you enjoy what you're doing. I don't get up in the morning at 5 a.m. Um, if I didn't enjoy the sport or enjoy what I was doing. I learned how to swim when I was about four years old and my brother and sister are both doing that. So I basically did exactly what they were doing. My sister did a bit of gymnastics and I did follow her, but I hated it. I, I'm not very flexible, so I didn't like the ladies shouting at me every day to, to try and stretch my legs a bit further because I just couldn't do it. Um, I did a bit of netball, which I absolutely loved, but I soon realized that my forte in life was swimming. <laughs> I literally can't do anything else. I can't run, I can't throw, I can't catch. So yeah, swimming is pretty much uh, what I wanted to do and, and sort of found me as well as I found it. And um, this is for race pace coaching. I kind of have considered doing some triathlons. Um, the swimming part of it is, is obviously the bit that I love, but I literally cannot run to save my life. So it would be quite embarrassing, I think, to see me come out of the water and then have to run. And uh, myself and bikes don't have the best of relationship as I broke my arm when I fell off a bike a couple of years ago. I think when I retire swimming, um, obviously there's no worry if I break any bones for that, but I, uh, I probably will go into maybe doing a couple of triathlons, but like I said, running really isn't the greatest thing. And generally when you're uh, you know, not even just a high performance athlete, um, an athlete in general, you are really competitive. And I know that if I wasn't good at something, it would frustrate me. So um, yeah, we'll have to see how that goes.